Greetings, YouTubers. This is Alien Entity. Uh, my video today is concerning the question whether uh, controlled demolition makes a building fall at free fall speed or not. And um, just out of curiosity, I decided, well, let me have a look at a controlled demolition since I'm doing some research on, on uh, my next WTC7 video. So, uh, you know, I poked around and I found this video for the landmark uh, in Texas, uh, landmark building. And uh, here's some stats on the landmark building. It was uh, 380 feet high, 116 meters. So it was the tallest building to be demolished in Texas and the 15th tallest building in the U.S. to be demolished at that time. That's really early in the morning. Well, wow, that would be annoying if you lived in the neighborhood. Wait till you hear the explosions in this puppy, man. It was it was loud. So the, this uh, clip I'm going to show you just runs the whole sequence of demolition. So we're going to sh show you that first. Okay, here we go. There, wasn't that fun? So, uh, I mean, for sure, that would be a lot of fun to see something like that. No question about it. Oh, I guess you probably want some kind of soundtrack on this video since I've had them on my other ones. Fine, let's do it. Oh, maybe not that. How about this? Yeah, that's better. Um, it takes a lot of building preparation, um, as you guys probably know, to do a building like that properly. It's, it's a, not a trivial matter at all. It takes a lot of expertise. And there's very few companies who can probably tackle large buildings. So what I did is I waited until that huge explosion at the bottom of the building. You'll see those big fireballs coming out of there. And, um, you know, it gets exciting. That's where I, I zeroed the time code, okay? And then I ran from there. And what I did is I ran it. I didn't even let it hit the deck. I just stopped it at seven seconds and 14 frames, which is, you know, roughly seven and a half seconds, okay? And um, I'm gonna do some math equations for you to show you what the actual collapse time means in terms of overall acceleration and relate it to what we call free fall and see how it compares. So let's do that now. Okay, so free fall for a 116 meter building is 4.86 seconds, you know, give or take, right? And as you just saw on that clip we looked at, it took, it took a fat seven seconds. So I'm just gonna call it seven seconds, okay? So, acceleration of gravity, as you probably know, is 9.81 meters per second squared, right? So free fall for this building was 4.86 seconds. It fell in about the seven second range. So if I solve it for seven seconds, um, that turns out to be roughly 4.73 meters per second squared acceleration over the entire collapse. And that's, it's less than 50% of what free fall would have produced. Um, so, you know, right right then you have to realize for yourself, as I do, that this is clearly not, this building is clearly not going through what you would determine as free fall. It's not even close to that. It's probably 50% of it, as we said. So just to reiterate, the basic idea of explosive demolition or implosion is fairly simple. If you remove the support structure of a building at a certain point, the section of the building above that point will fall on that part of the building below. If this section is heavy enough, it'll collide with the lower part with sufficient force to destroy it. And explosives are merely the trigger for demolition. It's actually gravity which brings the building down. And that's a very important point for you to keep in mind. It is gravity that is bringing the building down, 
not the explosives, per se. You're not actually blowing the building up to smithereens, you know? And you have to keep this in mind when you're looking at the building collapses of the World Trade Center because the same things are operating. Whether or not building collapse was initiated by explosives, it doesn't really matter. And why is that? Because gravity doesn't give a damn. That's why. Because there's a mass of a building and there's gravity. Gra the force of gravity. And if you weaken a structure, if you damage a building badly enough, as was obviously done by the two planes and fires and all the rest of it that went on in those buildings, when you have sufficient weakening and destruction of a structure, you've got a large mass sitting up there, if it starts to move, very likely you're going to get either a partial or a complete collapse of the building. Now, just for a quick comparison, I'm going to give you a split screen of the Landmark Tower and WTC7, and I'm going to start running the same clip that we, you just saw, Landmark Tower, and I'm going to run my clip from the other video that I did showing the first few seconds of the uh, WTC7 collapse from that CBS video that's a bit closer. So it doesn't show the whole thing. It just, you know, for WTC7, it just shows uh, whatever, the first 18 floors, okay? Um, but I'm going to start that WTC7 clip right as the east penthouse, mechanical penthouse, starts to collapse. That is the beginning of the global collapse of WTC7. Yes, me. this is not a joke. This is not an illusion. It's not a magic trick. It's just plain old, straightforward observation, okay? So here we go. We're going to run those clips down. So I didn't even attempt to try to splice a video to show you the, the entire collapse of WTC7. I think you get the point. You're looking at 11, almost 12 seconds of elapsed time on the WTC7 video. And you know that we're only looking at the top 18 floors. Neither of them collapsed at free fall speed. You can obviously see that. Um, even though some of the collapse of WTC7 is pretty close to free fall speed. That's true. There is a period of collapse which is very close. Uh, there was about seven floors that uh, lost support almost simultaneously. They went right across from east to west. And there's a lot of misunderstanding about what that actually means. And once again, as you can see, this building demolition does not show that free fall is a necessary component of even a controlled demolition. I think the mistake is to jump on some kind of bandwagon and start ranting on about how this some phantom team of people somehow came and did all this nefarious stuff inside a building with no one noticing and there was no explosions seen popping out of all those windows there. We don't know exactly what went on inside that building and we never will. So there is no point in trying to blame the investigation, the investigation for not finding something that isn't there in the first place. You were just uh, told by police that you should move out of your um, apartment, Fabiana. Yes. You've got Carolina here. Yes. Um, they they advise us to leave because we have. Oh my God! Look behind us, please, Pan. In this way, please. Be careful of your baby. This is it. Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! No! No! We're... Listen. We'll be all right. We'll be all right.